Well, mail arrived today and I got page two and three of presumably a three page letter that came with a diploma and some wedding pictures, which I don't care anything about. Look at that happy couple. Poor things. Hello, Effextinol. Um, so these will be thrown away. Um, I did get this diploma, which is on actual sheepskin. Jean Jenny M. Jackson has honorably completed the piano course of study. Warren Academy. So there's, you know, Mrs. Warren herself or whatever. 1905. Now what I've learned in this particular instance, first of all, I'm going to turn this, roll this up the wrong way so it flattens out a little bit. And that'll go into the keeper pile. What's this? Whatever, I don't need that. So one, two, Oh shit, there's another one. Oh, it's here. This. <coughs> Actually, there's another one here too. This one was a lot smaller than I thought it would be. So, I don't know. I have to turn this into something. Uh, a small face or some small faces. Some of these are quite tiny. Um, but I'm not going to worry about this one yet. This one, Wisconsin's, and this actually has a little, oops, a little bit of ribbon that sometimes these ribbons are printed they're just blue ink run through the thing sometimes they're actual grow grain ribbon sometimes they're satin uh, oh my god yeah quite a hairdo so anyway this one um there's a lot of stuff going on here that I can do, use for something. This one I'm not quite sure. Reading, spelling, orthography, orth, 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 whatever that is, English grammar, arithmetic, geography, writing, United States history, physiology, and the Constitution of the United States, and Wisconsin. constitutions of the United States and Wisconsin, which is what they don't teach now. Ask the president before the one we have now anything about the Constitution. This one, let's see, five credits out of five. Our Hubbard. So this one is kind of neat. It's just, I just find, you know, some someone had to say, okay, on either side of the word diploma, we're going to make a little pyramid, a ziggurat pyramid with a crown on top with little garlands and a little step thing. And on the other side, we're going to do another pyramid, but we're going to have a laurel wreath on top of that because a laurel wreath means something else. 
and the Board of Education of the City of Plainfield, something or other. I don't know if that's Massachusetts or Josephine Alice Milan, Milani, Mil, Malang, Diploma Two. So, you know, this could be a mustache. Um, look at those two A's. They're a little bit different. They could be eyeballs, right? But what I wanted to show you was, I don't know how many more of these I got. I've only used one to create something. And I've got these two. So these all have the same background. There's this little curly thing here. And I like how this other little square thing here with the little curly thing. So if you uncurled this, it would be a little double-tailed banner. And one curly end is here, the other curly end is way over there, completely out of perspective. So, and then the, you know, the little ribbons on the side are the same. They look like, you know, the dreadlocks that you see on some Orthodox Jews. These both have the oak leafy business going on. The inside, oh, so this has the same lady that's on that other one, the piano school. So that must represent knowledge or something. So these things are different. The school, of course, is different. And, of course, they had to, you know, completely change I, th I don't think this is engraved. This is offset printed, so it was probably easier for them to uh, change the um, backgrounds. But this one, I've already made one using one of these which was kind of fun. But now I've got three of them. this one. I've made one already. One, two, three, and now four. Same deal. This one, the oak leaves are a little bit different. These are larger, and here the acorns are more pronounced. Here the clouds are smaller. Here these clouds are smaller. So th there is there is sort of interest to they do. That. Look at this little curl up here, and they also have a little tiny tear, and then another little curl here just to make it look three dimensional. So, the first one that I made using these um, was a beauty culture thing. And I made it look sort of like a, I'll show you what it looked like. I kind of liked how, how it looked. I'm looking through my pictures here to try to find where it went. sake. Why did it go back to the beginning? <sighs> Drives me crazy. No, no, yes. So this one, this is the mask I made out of the first one I cut up. So it had, instead of it had the big curly things, which are the eyeballs, in this case. The, I guess that banner bit was a little different. This one has rounded bits. 
is one of the little points. So anyway, there I can make them all a little bit different. This is a little different here too. This is cut out a little bit differently. So anyway, they're fun to see the variety, but I don't want to repeat myself. Let's use this one. Take a picture of it first. I can record the before and after. Okay, is there something wrong with this phone? Pinky Ales. What a name. Pinky. So what do we see here? Do we see what 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 do you see in this? in this thing here. We, these can be eyeballs again, they could also be curly hair. Well, let's just start cutting. This could be, you know, a beard. You know how some of those Amish people just have the beard on the bottom part of their face. They don't have a mustache. They have a head of hair and a, like a beard down there. So let's, if this is gonna be their beer, beard, bow tie for the ribbon. I need a mouth. Mouth. Kind of a mouth going on there. Those make nice eyebrows though as well. What I'm trying to do is not do this, you know, try to pick different things. Okay, you guys, I'm, I have a, an issue with eBay. There's something I really want, but I, 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 can I just show you what I want? And you can tell me to just stop bidding on it. I don't need it. I want it. Should I just show you? I'm sure you've seen it. Where is my... I just want you to see my eBay bids and offers. It's a day left and a dollar short. I'm winning it now. It's a Waterman Ripple.
I just want you to see the nib. Okay. Look at that nib. You could paint a fucking house with that. I, w I want it. <laughs> I want that nib. Let me just show you. I have a nib like it. Let me just show you what my nib that's like it looks like. I can find it. I mean, do I do I want to buy it? Now that you know where it is, you could be bidding against me. It's a, it's a nib that I, I would love to have it. I don't need it. I don't use those pens, but I would love to show someone, here's a pen that you could paint your house with. But you guys deserve it more than I do. And my birthday's on the 30th of June. If you wanna buy it for me as a gift. Well, I think I'm going to have to turn this into an eye. There's just no way to get around that. I think this has to be an eye, which means the other one has to be an eye. But what I'm doing with this is I'm doing it a little bit differently than I did the other one. But that's a face already. Teeth, sharp teeth and a... Well, it will go for, I mean, it'll go for all sorts of money, I think. And, but that nib, that nib makes it just so sexy that you, you can't believe it. I can't believe how sexy that nib is. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do. Even though this is a face right there already. Pierre, just say no. Fuck. Don't say no, Pierre, just do it. You don't have, you know, you see, now here's another eye. A little bit of a nose, a little nub of a nose. Oh, I'm gonna cut this off. I'll save that for something else. Here we have an eye and an eye. This student has a lazy eye. <laughs> Sell pens to you and buy the ink shovel. I should, I should do that. 
or buy more diplomas. Two eyes. I can tell that this is not, you're not being convinced that these are eyes. Those are two eyes, believe it or not. Okay, are you guys going to bid on that pen? I might continue to bid on it. I don't want to bid against you. Grim Reaper. Okay, so I need, aha, uh -huh, I found a mouse. I found a way to get, make a mouse, I think. A shiny mouth with shiny, shiny teeth. Sparkly teeth. See, look at that little mouth. Hi there, all everyone. Well, you know, you might need it. You know, winter's coming. You know, Judd, the owner of that pen, did point out that it had a broad nib, and Judd has many followers. So I, you know, it was not, it was not a sleeper. It would have been seen by, by someone at some point. So it will go for some amounts of money. It may go for some amounts of money more than I had would be willing to spend on it. But when all was when I see something like that, my how do you word it? Friedrich, my pants get tight. I need um I need a little nose. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this. I think this is gonna be this this diploma is this face is gonna be all sort of dark. I've decided. Okay, nose. I don't have a lot of I guess this could be the nose.
from Judd Friedrich. How would you describe Judd Perlson for someone who's never, never seen Judd before? Judd, he looks like he's right out of a Hieronymus Bosch engraving. He's a relatively short man who is almost as wide as he is tall. He has a really deep voice. I'm here to buy. I'm here to buy pens. I'm in the mood to buy. And when he's in the mood to buy, he, he in fact does exactly that. He buys and buys and buys. He does, he does clearly consume food to keep his girlish, girlish figure. That's for sure. month here I found I found I think the what is that little divot that you have between your your upper lip and the bottom of your nose called that little divot Here, this looks like the person has a nose ring. It's okay. They can they can look like they have a nose ring. Ferinium. I thought that was the thing that went from one orifice up to the tip of your ding dong. Or is that perine? That's perineum, I guess. Little nose ring. And then a mouth.
Where's a resident gastroenterologist? She would know what that's called since that's almost part of the start of her Her concerns. Well, this is fuck. I think this this diploma is very dirty. So my glue is sticking to dirt rather than to paper. Dirt and nearly a hundred years of grime. Well, there, there's that line that goes from, goes, cuts across the taint, a little seam, which describes our bilateral anatomy. I have to look at that pen again. I just have to see that pen, that pen nib. Look at it. You know, that nib, you could take the iridium off and stick it on like 40 other pens and still have room to spare. I don't understand. My iPad says it has 26%. So why did it suddenly just turn off? I don't understand. Explain it to me, someone. The FX Technol, use your Technol part of your brain to explain it to me because I don't understand. How difficult is it to keep going? Okay, I don't know what, what I'm gonna do with the rest of this one.
I think this could be an eyebrow. And this could be an eyebrow. What do you what are your thoughts? Or should this be an ear and another ear? I think this works better as an ear. These are fun to do. As you can see, I'm having fun. Can't you see that? God damn it. Cockeyed eyebrow to go with the cockeyes? I think so. So I've been having fun drawing some interesting people on my in my dirty drawing life. So would you miss Will Hodge by not being on Instagram? Should I show you some of the should I send you some drawings, Will? that I do on Messenger. Speaking of taints and stuff like that, I've drawn myself a taint or two. Taint so, honey's taint so, devil says yes, but the Lord says no taint so. Makes no difference what your troubles will be. <laughs> taint so, honey, taint so. Tomorrow will bring something good, I know. Taint so. I'm singing about taints. <sighs> okay, this isn't sticking because there's too much grime. Oh, my Lord, he'd say with his Tallulah Bankhead voice. How's his voice doing, by the way? Oh, sweet Jesus, he'd say. I could make the oak leaves be the hairdo, I suppose.
Okay, what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to just, I'm going to call this a day on this one. I have to put all of these in a little pile so I don't get them mixed up with the other one I'm going to cut up that's this, the same thing. We're just going to see if we can come up with a different thing using the same, essentially the same elements. So I'm going to put these here. And we'll take this one. Okay, this one, as you can see, has much bigger, many bigger letters. So I think, unlike the last ones I did, I think these are going to be pigtails going down on either side of Maggie's, Maggie King's face. And maybe because this one is long and this one is short, maybe I'll make her be sort of a three-quarter view. So she'll have one big eye on one side of her. This is a pretty sweet mouth though. Three teeth. How many more teeth do you need there? So we need a big nose. Here's our mouth. Teeth. Nose, big eye, little eye, hair. If I make slanty eyes like that, would this be too, too Chinese and I get myself into trouble? What are your thoughts? Oh, I forgot to take a picture of this one. Okay. Take a picture of it now before I... And kind of put it back together again. Come on, Peter. Just so excited. Just so excited. Okay. Pigtail, pigtail, mouth. It's an underbite. This person has an underbite. That could be Eyeball. This could be the nose coming down, except it'll be a much larger nose. It'll start up at the top of the forehead and come down and go this way. So I need a oh, this poor th <laughs> this poor child. <laughs> this is just uh. 
Washington County had a lot of inbred things going on with it, I guess. A lot of inbreeding. So this, this can come down here. This can be a nose. Large nose means Korean. Well, we went from talking about taints to into the gutter. Okay, I think I think uh, where's where's uh, effects to null to call in the police department, the YouTube. The YouTube police on that one, anal bleaching. Okay, I need something that goes this way and up. The C might be the thing we want. Yes, look at that. Perfect nose. Perfect. Cut that off right there. I have a feeling that uh, not only will I become demonetized, I'm not even monetized yet, but I think this will keep me from ever making money at my YouTubes. They'll look back and they're going to say, we really can't allow Mr. Gustafson to be doing anything on our channels. I think I'm going to have to cut off these things here. They are just confusing the issue. I don't have a Patreon account. Would that be in jeopardy if I continued in my with my be, with my um, awful behavior? This person's eyes could they be closer together? Do you think? I think it would be impossible to make these eyes any closer together than they are.
Oh, that is to be down. Okay, I need to get Patreon is where you uh, people can give extra money to watch. Anyone can watch the YouTube videos that I that people with Patreon produce, but there are some benefits that you can decide you want to give your Patreon sponsors by having special videos for them, or they'd see them a little bit earlier. Or something like that. I have batteries. Well, I have batteries, <laughs> but they're not. I just need new ones for my devices. I don't need more of them. Well, this poor girl is just, there's just nothing that's gonna help this girl out. She is out of luck, but she's gonna have fab, fabulous hair. She's going to have curls and bangs and sparkles. He has a very long a very long face though. So I talked to my brother today the first time in a while and he was telling me that the sale of the first load of stuff we were selling was really interesting and he got to see some of the people two two of the buyers of the shit that we were selling also were perhaps interested in buying the house so that was nice. Okay, so there that part is. I'll flesh out her cheeks a bit. And then her hair will be made up of these curls, that curl, that little curl there, and what else do I have that's even remotely curl-like? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if I have enough for the a beehive, but I may have enough for just a mountain of hair. But we do see how different this person is from 
this one. And mainly because this one, that other one, we didn't use any of the lettering to make the face. I think what I need to do first is to make the nose be a little less tall because this is going to be white up here. Now it could start out like that with sort of curls coming down and then other things can happen in the background. When did I just cut that off? I just cut off perfectly good stuff that it would have helped me glue this. Stick. Bless you. I could give I could give her a beauty mark. Where's the eye in public? Where did that go? Did I use it up somehow? Could have a beauty market little eye right there. Public. No. Right there. It's hiding. Should I give her a birthmark? I think she. She needs all the help she can get, this one. This one needs all the fucking help she can fucking get. With that underbite. There, perfect. Now she's beautiful. She is beautacious, beauteousness. And she has her little dreadlocky pigtail on that side.
and then she'll have the little one on the other side. So what do we think that Waterman is going to go for? The shovel, the Waterman shovel. What are your thoughts? 150 bucks. Three fifty. You think people will? They're buying essentially. Well, they're buying. the The pen has issues that Ripple people would be bothered by, but. If I had the pen with that nib, I would, I don't know what I would charge for it if I had to sell it. I'd have to make sure I had the right sucker, I mean, the right customer for it, though. Should I use a cleaner piece of paper? I'm going to use a cleaner bit. This girl has enough trouble. She doesn't need to have a, a dirty face on top of it. There, that looks better. Well, the in that it it just needs a sack. It's it does it's not a complicated refurbishment. The the nib is spectacular. I have, in all of the years I've collected pens, I have one, one of them. So I've seen how many pens, 10,000 pens come and go in my store here. Probably 20,000 pens that I didn't buy. And I would have certainly been tempted to buy a, that nib. Again, that nib, if someone had that nib by itself in a little velvet cushion, flexible, triple broad Waterman number two nib, buy it now, $350. Someone would do it. Someone would buy it. So I, you know, I don't, I, I, I don't fear that it could go for a lot of money and it's worth a lot of money, but I can't afford it. Even if I sell you all, all my pens, I can't afford it. Well, I've figured out sort of the logic of how this hairdo is working. So it's going to start out as it meets the head. It'll start out sort of like that, sort of cloudy, and then it will eventually turn into curls.
I could use this corner, but you know she has spots. See, that's, pardon me for bringing this up, but that would be, that would be the nib that the most recent president would have wanted. That, you know, that nib should be the one that Judd keeps to sign his, to endorse the checks he gets in the mail. I got to go to the bank. Need to, need to do the checks. Well, it would have value for a very particular kind of calligraphy that I don't do. This girl is just frightened of something. She is frightened of math class and multiplication tables and just everything is scaring her to death. Okay, where did the other part of the bow go? Okay, that's going to be her ooh -la, la hair. Those are just oak leaves. Looking for the other Part of that bow. Then I threw it away somehow. Whatever. Whatever. Disguise it with a curl. It's not here. It's not here. It's not there. It's not there. was right there, so it would have been next to the P, which I cut apart. It would have been on the P that had the hooks. Without it, I guess. That's one letter. No, it is a very, a very uh, weird. nib and it was very seductive to show people how big a letter you could make a big a line you could make and that's what caused me to 
to break mine because I pressed down too hard on it, which was easy to do on that pen because there was no no voice telling you to to slow down. It just was started out loud and got louder and louder and louder and then boing. Okay, I'm not going to look for that anymore. So stop looking for it, Pierre. I'll just put some other little thing over there. Okay, now this goes over here. Let's give let's give her some more side here here. This is really an un a very unfortunate little young lady. There's not nothing I can do that's making her at all attractive. Everything I'm doing is for naught. None of it's working, dear. I'm very sorry about that. Very, very sorry. She looks at herself in the mirror and she said, oh my God, one of my pigtails is too short. How am I going to go back to, how can I look Brad in the face when I get back to class? Okay, lots of hair up here. Lots. I've got one big curl. One, two, a little curl, and another little, I have four curls to work with. I think this one is going to go right there. Maybe I'll find out. One curl down. I think this one is going to go just right to the back. I don't know what kind of hairstyle this is, but she's got one. Sort of the bit, the, uh, what's her name? Flintstone. Wilma Flintstone hairdo. Fred. Yes, Wilma. 
this hairdo make me look fat? And what does what does Fred say to that? Because that has that's the start of the episode, and then it has to it has to devolve into she has to go go back to mother and all of the other you know formulaic stuff that that has to happen, right? No answer. Kind of like the way that comes down here and connects up with that one. Almost looks like I planned that. What are your thoughts? There's another curl. Where's the taint? Are you going back in are you going back into the gutter again, Will? You tired of being Well, I feel sorry for her, Maggie King. You know, she she tried so hard to move ahead in the in the world, and this hairdo that the beauticians said would, for sure would make little Bobby, little little Fred Flintstone, look at her. It did not do a damn thing. Okay, where's so this, this could be a little, a little sort of thing happening back there. Like that. 
What do you think? We only had one of those sort of kind of energy st stuck up back there. Little, little thing. This, this dame has one. This woman has no eyebrows, though, to speak of. So I was thinking about my my uh, dinner party game that I've been playing with people, and I was thinking that uh, it would be really fun to have Liberace sitting next to Herman Goering at a dinner party. Let's see who leaves in a hissy fit first. His outfit is so much nicer than mine. Does remind me of Wilma. Okay, I need to add a little bit of strengthening back there. have a little bit of a shape to it. Yeah, this maybe I should just hide that. Hide that uh, bow of it. only sees a part of I'm going to put these now, these parts, those stay in that box, and these all go in another box. I really feel sick to my stomach. Now I have another one to do. You see, don't don't you dare leave me. I've got one more to do. This one. <sighs> I 
I use that as a mouth. Can't use that as a mouth. Use that as a nose. Can't use that. I have to try something different. This almost looks like a little two, two teeth in an open mouth. This could be an interesting nose. I'm just gonna, I need a picture of this first. This, I'm turning this into a nose. This is a very, sort of art deco nose though. This is going to be very Very different, a very different face than the other one. Or is that going to be an eye? This could be an eye. An eye, eyebrow, and then a nose down here. Got me thinking, Pierre Gustafson. You like when that happens. I've been buying these on eBay. They came, four of them came on eBay today. So I've been paying ready money for these things. When I should be getting my teeth fixed. And what do I do? I buy these diplomas. Well, that's, that's an evil little mouth right there. Okay, this is an eye and a nose. I need a thing down here to sort of come back. It's a nostril and then a mouth, right? Got 
good. That works, pure. Come on, stick. <laughs> no, don't glue to the back. That could be an eye, and I could put another similar thing over here, like he's looking back. Right? Could do that. Okay, he needs to have something that looks like that over here. Did you see Friedrich, the one I made that looked like a Prussian army officer? It's on my Instagram account. There we go. Look at that mouth. A mouth only a dentist would love. Okay, now, what is this person's hair going to look like? Is this going to have the oak leaf hair? Uh-oh. How's your dad doing, by the way?
Oh dear. Are we getting too much information there, uh, Friedrich? How's that work? Does that work as an eye? I think this is going to have to do the trick. It doesn't, though. It doesn't do the trick. Damn it. Well, I think I think this is going to have to be an ear. An ear there and a bigger ear there. Oh, I just I just cut the, the ear. Why didn't I think in advance? Is that so difficult to do? Tell you what, I'm just going to use this. Look at that. Perfect, perfectly good eye. angry just a little bit of an angry eye but I have another another one I can put there
And where's the other? A. Upside down. Would have thunk. Back. Looks sort of like a some sort of weird samurai thing going on here. Donut.
Well, that would be lovely to give give him something. Tell him that fountain pens is what he needs to get and find him a nice fountain pen. This dude's son gave me this fountain pen. He'd say to his fellow whatever they are. So cool. It's even older than the old guy that I'm taking care of. Could have a like a pharaoh beard at the bottom. conical beard okay this one is, is I'm being stumped by this one. top of his head. Ugh. Mel. Dear Mel. Do you see the German uh, Prussian officer yet, Friedrich?
Just gonna cut this right now in half. eBay notification, I've been outbid. No, it was news. Oh, look at this. Speaking of junk. La 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 la. <laughs> Am I going to get Am I going to get kicked out? Instagram. Here's the Prussian officer with his fencing scar and monocle and crew cut. Sharp teeth. <sighs> Ephemera. <laughs> he does have a Nosferatu ishness to him. Oh. Okay, I'm unplugging you from here, taking you into the other room. I feel sick. Someone came into my house without me knowing. Okay, boys, I'm going to take a shower and try to feel better. I don't know if it'll work, but we'll see. Bye.